We got a crash in the four-man bobsled. This breakdown is brought to you by SeatGeek, and if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel, please. That helps me a whole bunch. So Team Kranz coming to you from Liechtenstein, the four-man bobsled. And look how ready they are. Look how in sync they are. Watch this. Look at the high-five breakdown, okay? Dude on the left gets a big old high-five from the driver, Kranz, and then he's going to get the guy in the middle, and everything's going well. Then he's going to get the guy on the right. This is the best part. Now the two on the wings, they high-five each other, and then get the guy in the backs back. That's perfect. It's beautiful. They're destined for success. They're going to impress. They are the Liechtenstein bobsled team, Team Krantz. Oh, shit. That dude didn't get in the bobsled. He's just hanging out like, hey, guys. Um, all right. See you at the bottom. See ya. So they're going. The guy up front, Krantz, he might not even know he's down a man, down a break man. So they're just zipping around. They're disqualified. This is just a fun run. Just tossing up in the end zone, hoping something happens, but it, it can't. They got DQ'd. This coach is like, uh, well, what are you going to do? And this guy's got to make his way down the hill through the crowd, and that's awkward, like signing autographs. And he's like, I'm not in the mood. I fell out the bobsled. I'm pretty upset about it. So Team Krantz finishes in uh, last place because they got DQ'd, 20th. He's like, hey, man, that guy fell out. He's like, what? He's like, yeah. Oh, shit. He's not here? And they're like, no. Like, Whoa, okay. He's like, uh, uh, okay. I guess he fell out. <laughs> I didn't push him. Uh, my bad. Okay. See you later. Bye. And yeah, here's what happened. The two dudes on the wing were so in sync, they got out of sync, and his hand goes under the sled. That's scary. Ooh, on his back. Hand comes out clean. Has all his digits. Hits the wall. Turns and looks and says, well, good luck. I'll be up here, making my way through the crowd. So what I did is I went and I watched every other team enter the sled. And I'm becoming a professional bobsled coach or guru. I'm going through all the footage. These guys, they're probably not going through the footage like me. And I'm saying, what can Liechtenstein do different? What did they do wrong? Okay. Something I found was they started getting in the bobsled way earlier than the other teams. The other teams ran pretty much down the hill, then jumped in. Liechtenstein, they got in right away. Now, these are the Germans. They're good. Actually, that's third place Germans. Not that good. China, nah, that, they're tenth place. This team, look at that driver. They just hop in right away. Latvia, pretty good. Now, this is the second place team, the Germans. They're in. This is the first place Germans, and they're in kind of late, actually. So, anyway, what I'm trying to tell you is I'm an expert. I went through everything. I watched them all. I compared them side by side. I tried to figure out what did the good teams do that Liechtenstein didn't do. Something I ran into was, where do you put your two man? Does he go on the same side as the driver? Or does he go the opposite side of the driver? The first place team from Germany, their two man, he's on the other side of the driver, see? And he jumps in behind him. But that's not what Liechtenstein did. They just battled for it. I don't. Maybe they didn't even know. The other German team... Second place German team, two man on the other side of the driver. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe that's something. Third place team, though, Great Britain, uh, Hall is the driver. Their two man is on the same side as the driver. So you can have success and do it that way. Ultimately, I don't know if Liechtenstein, I, I, they both seem to be competing to be the two man. They were so worried about doing the high five and the back five that they forgot to figure out, hey, where do you sit and where do I sit? It's a four man bobsled. So reviewing all the tape, comparing them to all the other uh, teams, trying to figure out what could they do better and what could they do not. My biggest piece of advice is that when you jump into the car, don't slip because you're supposed to do that and only touch the side of the, the car once and then your left foot goes in. But see, his right foot slipped, which slowed down his cadence, which means the other dude was now, you know, he was in that guy's time because he slipped. So a lot of learning by me. Uh, I've, I've become somewhat of an expert and... Slipping while entering the bobsled, not good. Another important note, check out this fan. This breakdown is brought to you by SeatGeek. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring the breakdown. Use code JOMBOY and you get $20 off your first purchase. They got tickets all over. They got the best ticketing app and a website and you can buy tickets. Code JOMBOY.